We learned in our last lesson that Jesus is alive. Let's go ahead and do our cheer. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Alleluia. He said that he would rise from the dead, and he did it. He won over sin and death and the power of the devil. We, weren't, we aren't strong enough to do all of that, so he did it for us. God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son to die for us so that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. That's God's promise, and we know he always keeps his promises. So that's our next Bible verse, too. It's John 3, 16, and it says, For God so loved the world, world that he gave his one and only son. John 3, 16. So let's try that again. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. John 3, 16. God loves us and he wants the best for us. We can come to him in prayer and he will listen to our prayer. He will give us courage. He will never leave us or forsake us. Let's all pray together. Heavenly Father, we come to, to you today full of sorrow and thanks and praise. We're sorry that you had to send your son to die for us. We're thankful that Jesus did that for us and rose again so that someday we can go to heaven and live with you. And we're full of praise that you have saved us from our sin. And we pray that you save us from this virus and any other things that are hurting us. Give us courage and strength and keep us always in your care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I hope that you're all praying with me when I do the, do the Lord's Prayer, just like we would always do in class, and remembering to always come to go to Him in prayer. Okay, we know that Jesus is alive. We know He rose from the dead. But now comes the next part of our story. Back in Jesus' day, people would bring spices and ointments to honor someone who had died. There were a group of women that started walking to Jesus' grave to do that early on Easter morning. But the women were worried and said, Oh no, who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? They were realizing that that stone was way too big and heavy for any of them to roll away. When the women got to the tomb, remember that's another word for, for the grave, and they saw that the big stone covering the entrance to the tomb had been rolled aside. Mary Magdalene ran back to tell Peter and the other disciples that the tomb was opened. The other women went closer and saw that Jesus' body was gone. An angel appeared to them and told them, that Jesus was not dead anymore. Jesus is alive. 
filled with joy, but trembling with excitement, I'm sure the women hurried back to the disciples to tell them that Jesus was alive. Soon after, Mary Magdalene returned alone to the tomb, and she stood outside crying. She had not stayed with the women long enough to hear the angel's message, and she did not know that Jesus was alive. As she was crying, someone came up behind her. So she was crying, and she was upset. Someone came up behind her and said, why are you crying? She said, someone has taken my Lord away and I don't know where they put him. Then Jesus said just one word. He said, Mary. She looked up behind her and saw that it was Jesus. It was her savior, our savior. Oh, she was so happy. She was excited and she really wanted to hug Jesus. But Jesus said, you can't hold on to me because I've not returned to my father. I get that. She must have been so sad to not be able to hug him, just like we all want to hug each other. I sure miss your, your guys' hugs. And I'm sure you miss hugging some of the people in your family and your friends. But someday, we'll be able to get together again and hug again. And someday, we'll even get to go to heaven and to hug Jesus. Won't that be a glorious day? I just can't wait. So here's all a hug for you all. Okay, your homework is to tell the story. So if you finish your book, after you've finished your book, I want you to tell the story to someone you love, someone you're talking to on the phone or Skype or FaceTime or who knows what, and tell them that you're, that all that you've learned, how Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and that the people in the crowds waved Hosanna. You can even sing the Hosanna song for them. Then how they went to the upper room and had the Passover meal. But Jesus changed that meal. He took the bread and the cup and he told them, this is my body and blood given for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this to remember me. Then Judas left and he went to go tell the, the soldiers actually the chief priests and Pharisees, where Jesus would be. So Jesus and his disciples went to the Garden of Gethsemane. They went to pray. Jesus was very sad, but he knew that he had to do this for us. Then the Roman soldiers came and they took Jesus away. They whipped him. They put a crown of thorns on him. And then he went to the hill called Calvary and he died on the cross there with a robber on either side. He died, they put him in the grave, but on Easter morning, he came alive again. That tomb was empty. And on our last page, we have Mary crying then Jesus comes and shows that he is alive. Okay. And our threes, I want you to tell the story too. And anybody who's listened to the story. There's Jesus coming into Jerusalem. Hosanna. There's Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. We know he died on the cross for us, but he is alive again. That tomb is empty. So I hope this will first be shown 
right before Easter on Good Friday, where we remember Jesus dying for us. And so I want you to be able to remember it and to think about it. Another thing that we would do at school on the last day before our Easter break is we would read this, we would um, show this movie and it's called The Miracle Maker, The Story of Jesus. I looked around, I can't find it being shown anywhere. They used to show it on religious stations. So if somebody finds it, if you could post that on our Facebook page, that'd be great. Um, they did have it on that you could buy it at Amazon. But I just wanted to make you aware of it because this is, this is the movie that we would watch on the last day before Easter. And if you go 49 minutes in, it starts there at the uh, Jesus going into Jerusalem. I just wanted to make you aware of that too, if that's possible. Um, and that's about it. We'll see you again after Easter. And we are, we love you so much. And we want to do the cheer one more time. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Alleluia. Bye-bye.